What's up everybody? It's my favorite day of the week, so stick around and let's open up some mail. What's up everybody? Thanks so much for sticking around. Uh, today we're gonna open up four packages that I've gotten throughout the past week. One of these actually I found out it's been sitting in the corner of my living room for like a month now, so let's see if it's still in good condition. We get to play our favorite game. How bad did Walmart fuck up our pop? I love that game. Uh, so you know what? Let's stick with, uh, or let's stick, let's start with that one. Uh, this one I don't need a box cutter. This one I open, or I ordered, I don't even know. It was a long time ago. And I picked it up when I went grocery shopping a few weeks back and didn't realize that I just stuck in the corner of my living room and I never opened it. And actually, Walmart wins this time. They didn't fuck up our package at all. This is the Babe Ruth uh, Walmart exclusive. But yeah, the black and white Walmart exclusive Babe Ruth. And this is actually the only pop that we're opening today, guys. Uh, we're opening up a bunch of other stuff, but no other pops. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not a huge like Babe Ruth fan per se, but I do enjoy a good black and white pop. And you got to show love for the legends of the sport, right? So stick that over there and move on. Goodbye, box. That didn't work out very well. Sorry. Um, this next one I ordered off of Mercari, and uh, it's a good follow-up. Actually, these next two are a good follow-up to last week's mail time monday it's not insanely sought after but i saw it and i was like i'm in love a box inside of a box it's boxception everybody Ooh, and some more wrapping oh it's so cute this is the uh mini tiny ghost with like the black metal face paint. This thing is so adorable. I saw it and I was like, oh man, I think I spent like 10 bucks on it or something. It was like $10 shipped. Worth every single penny. Look how cute that thing is. Love it. Good little addition to our uh, Tiny Ghost collection. And to keep adding on to that, we're gonna open up this next package. Uh, these ones I actually ordered a while ago um, and they just didn't come in time for last week's video so i held out didn't open them waited to share it with you guys Ooh, another awesome packing job looks great pull these out wow oh, this like fit perfectly all the bubble wrap all right these are two sets of the puppy and kitty Tiny Ghost, the blue glow in the dark, and the green glow in the dark. Very stoked to get these. I'm a big dog fan. Uh, not so much cats, but you know, sometimes you gotta take the good with the bad. And uh, that's what we did here. I don't care for cats, but the Tiny Ghost is still adorable. Oh, look how cute they are. This is actually part of the reason why I got into Tiny Ghost wanted to start collecting them because of how cute the cat and dog were so this is the uh, green glow oh the blue is so cool in person i love it even when it's not glowing look at these adorable little critters oh they're so cute the dog the cat very very adorable so that is a uh that is three of our four packages uh, let's move on this last one, right? So we've been we've been starting new collections and uh, Getting into new stuff checking out new things shout out to uh, my friends CS Miller and uh, Bearded pop hunter because those guys Pushed me in the direction of uh, starting to get into these pieces right here, so very stoked this is our first one, and I imagine first of a few. Oh, there's a lot of crap in here. All right. Oh, man. Even the box is sick. Ooh. Ooh, leave a comment down below if you know what this is. Even the box. This is the super plastic janky, and it is the glow-in-the-dark colorway. Uh, I had a hard time deciding between the glow-in-the-dark and 
the um, janky was first. But uh, in between the glow in the dark and the black colorway, but I ultimately decided to go with glow in the dark. Oh, sticker fell out. So it comes with this cool uh, super plastic sticker. Oh, man, part of the reason why I like this thing so much is because it was dragging that little human behind it. And the little human comes separate right there. It's pretty cool. Oh, man. The quality on this is insane. This is so cool. They do a really good job of keeping everything nice and separate. So they even put this little plastic in here so the mask doesn't rub against the face. But here is the janky. Oh, look at that with that sweet mask. You're just going to maul the shit out of you bite your face right off. Let's get this on there. Get its little uh, human snack. I am one happy guy. Look at that. Dragging around his little human. His little human snack. So if you guys don't know anything about Super Plastic, it was actually founded by a dude named Paul Budnitz. And uh, if you've never heard of him, you might know some of his work because he founded a little brand called Kid Robot. And uh, I say little in a funny way because if you collect vinyl toys and know anything about that, then I'm sure that you've had some sort of connection to Kid Robot and the things that they've made. They've made insane amounts of stuff over the years with crossing insane amounts of fandoms. It's almost like... Uh, think, think like higher end Funko almost, right? So, uh, pretty cool stuff. And, uh, a dude named Huggy, who I didn't know a whole lot about until I started looking into Super Plastic more, but he is a toy designer and he's done crazy amounts of stuff. Um, like he has, he has stuff in like the Museum of Modern Art and, uh, super, super well-known dude in that, in that, um, area right and in, uh, in that medium i guess is what most artists would say right um but yeah so pretty cool stuff really really stoked on this and the quality of this is like insane untouchable love the character because when i was younger i was really into gloomy bear and i'm pretty sure this was uh created by the same person who did uh gloomy bear because they have the uh the mori Chak, which who's the artist's name and then the little gloomy logo down here at the bottom so pretty cool i mean love it i'm definitely gonna be getting more of these things to add to the collection easy easy pickups so sick let me know down in the comments guys what's your favorite piece that we picked up this week and let me know if you guys are collecting tiny ghosts did i get you into tiny ghosts were you like man his tiny ghost content is so fire that I need to go get some tiny ghosts. And uh, as always, make sure that you like the video, uh, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Left Coast Pops. Follow my friends at the Funko Collector Society at Funko Collector Society. And follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Left Coast Pops. And follow my awesome wife at twitch.tv slash Goth Posh. Uh, we'll see you guys a little later on this week. I got a really cool mystery box video that I recorded last week because I just couldn't wait. So um, I'm excited to release that for you guys. And if it looks like I have hair in that one it's because it's pre-recorded so um but yeah as always thank you guys so much for the support it means the world to me and uh we'll see you guys on thursday enjoy peace